And we can let everyone in. And good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is our Wednesday weekly training, Power Partners United. These are women of power that come to you every single week and give you training and education on the wonderful world of solar, on this wonderful platform and opportunity that we have called Power. Um, my name is Marisa Fletcher. I've got Miss Cynthia in the room, Cynthia Alvidrez. Ms. Chrysalyn Yim, and also Ms. Isela Bonita. We are all mentors, tier three in the Power Platform. We come to you each week with some training and we are welcome to have you all here. Thank you for being here. This week, Chris is up. Her name is Chrysalyn, but she's a good friend of ours. We call her Chris. And so she's going to be giving us training on Power 101, basic training. If you're new to the platform, just getting plugged in with us, even if you've been here for a minute, but still haven't been able to quite plug in, you guys, this is going to be a really, really great training, okay? But right before that, we have something that we do with our community every single week. When we get together, we want to have, have recognition, recognition moments. moments. Um, what is that? What are recognition mm -hmm. moments? Well, we want to share and inspire each other. We're all powerful women, gentlemen. We're all a part of this wonderful culture of power. And let's share our wins with each other so that we can encourage each other. So at this point, this is where we all have an opportunity to either raise our hand virtually. If you're showing your beautiful face, please, we enjoy faces on camera. Um, but raise your hand here or go ahead and raise your hand virtually and share with us. Um, anybody received a new electric bill? their first electric bill, their second electric bill, they're excited about that. Any recent installs, new ambassadors or sellers, how many families did you help go solar? Did you help your first family go solar this week and you're excited about that? So this is an open opportunity for anyone to share with us. And uh, I like to always pick someone off the platform first. Which one of our ladies wants to jump in and share with us first? I'd like to uh, recognize Daniela. She just recently sold her second, um, she helped her second family go solar. So congratulations to Daniela Rodriguez. Daniela Rodriguez, okay. And she's a seller in the platform as well? She is a seller in the platform, yes. All right, Daniela, are you on? Do you wanna chat? Maybe tell us how you got that, that utility bill, how you were able to help this family? No, not today, not right now. Do you know Chris? <laughs> I, I don't. I have another uh, shout out, though. I want to highlight Denya. She just recently passed her uh, tier two certification. So congratulations, Denya. Super excited for you. I know you're going to do great. Nice. Awesome. Do you want to share how that felt to pass that tier two certification? Um, yes. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Um, it felt good you know, because I, I was already, I was coming from the insurance business and, um, you know, taking that leap of faith and trusting that, you know, God was going to be able to provide for me in this, in, in this, every, this solar business that I'm completely new to. Um, it just feels amazing to know that I have amazing mentors and Chris Lynn being one of them to guide me uh, to every step of the way. And, being motivated to continue helping, um, you know, families out. So it felt, it felt really good. And I'm waiting for, and I'm excited to become mentor. <laughs> so looking forward for that opportunity. Uh, uh, Dinda, actually. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dinda, for sharing that with us. Congratulations on that accomplishment, that achievement. I know, like you said, it felt amazing. Thank you, Chris, for helping her get there. That's what this is all about. It's a community and it's where we, we partner together to help each other um, succeed. Who else wants to share? Um, I'll share I'll share recognition uh, really quick and then, sorry, Stella, and then I'll have, I'll have you go. Um, so Stephanie Cardona, she's uh, Jeff Hughes' baby boo girlfriend. Um, she, uh, she entered another lead and I think it was her birthday when she entered the lead, which really impressed me because she's entering leads on her birthday. What? 
who does that? So uh, just wanted to shout her out because I'm sure she's an up and coming mentor one day. Um, so good things to come from her. Also want to recognize Christina Robbins. That's a seller of mine. And she has, she actually was at power for a year before really getting the ball rolling, you guys. So keep this in mind. Sometimes it takes a long time to really find what works for you. So just don't give up. Once she started getting leads in, she's on fire now. And it did take her a while to get there, but so does it for a lot of us as well. So don't give up. If you have a few leads that are in there and are not working, just keep plugging away, keep talking to people. Awesome. Awesome. Great pro tip. Thank you, Cynthia, for that. Who else in the audience has a share, wants to share with us? Did anybody have any recent referrals that they got and want to share with us how you got those? I wanted to share and congratulate Vicky Suki. She's not on. She's usually on the call, but we had a really, really, she shared with me. Last She's week. here. Oh, there she is. I see Vicky. <laughs> yeah, so we shared with that. We had a really difficult, um, well, I would say challenging and a good a learning opportunity with a client. We shared two properties, uh, his primary and a secondary property. So that presentation took about two hours with the brother-in-law in there. I mean, it was they really, I guess, I don't want to say drill, but it had a lot of questions. So that gives us as a consultant and the mentee an opportunity to grow. And so Vicky did a phenomenal job on following up and she's really, you know, learning and really getting into it. And so anyways, because of her follow-up, um, she was, she was able to, um, uh, have, have him agree and we closed both deals. So really excited for Vicky on this one. Thank you. Thank you for your nice. trust. Uh, I'm really excited. Thank you, Isella, so much. Nice, nice. Miss Vicky, do you want to share? I was going to brag on you a little bit as well, because we've got a couple going as well. And I'm going to I'm going to agree with what Isella said, that everything you do is amazing, very thorough, very detailed. Do you want to share with us how you're getting success and getting utility bills and getting people on these appointments? Uh, all of them so far have been ambassador referrals. I've got uh, four ambassadors signed up so far. One of them gave her first referral. I have another one who has sent me, um, do you do RVs? And it's like, no, we don't do that. But I just got another, another lead for a, a somebody who has a manufactured home. They do own the land that they sit on. Uh, they do, what is the other? It's a triple wide. Um, so I think we're going to be able to do that one. It is um, affixed to a permanent foundation. So um, I'm going to be talking with her to get her in. But all of them so far have been ambassador referrals. So that, that program definitely works. That's amazing. I'm happy that you shared that with us because that ambassador program, it, 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 it's a wonderful thing. Um, I had a challenge when I first got in the platform when I wasn't having a lot of bills yet, right? We all start at that point. Um, and so my goal was, you know, hey, if I can't get a bill, that's okay if I can get an ambassador instead of a bill. You know, ambassadors are free. They don't cost anything. They want to help their family and friends go solar and make a cool thousand dollars while they're doing it. You know, if you've got 50, 60 ambassadors on, signed up under you, right, and just put in the time and the effort for that, hey, maybe you'll get a referral every, every month or so from one of those 50 or 60 people. So that's awesome. Thank you for sharing that story. I love hearing success stories like that. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Anybody... Yeah. If I can just also just shout out to all the mentors, you, Marissa, you, Isela, I have Jordan. I've entered six leads, and with the, the two that are going to be um, going, that'll be four out of six. And then, of course, you, Marissa, and I have our, could be five out of six, right? So the mentor program works very well. Learning so much, everybody, use your mentors. That's amazing. That's amazing, right? Pretty soon you're, you're, you're tier two, tier three, and you'll be a mentor there and you'll be able to help people and help families go solar. So awesome. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. I had a couple of people I wanted to shout out. Vicki, you're already shouted out, so I'll get you next time. No, I'm just kidding. No, but um, Miss Keisha, Miss Denise, and also Miss Tanya, all three ladies, I think you're on the call right now. I think I saw your name jumping in the room. Amazing, amazing efforts. All newer sellers to the platforms, or if not brand new, just now getting their feet wet and getting it going. Um, all did amazing follow-up to get their clients to sit on Zoom so that we can do proposals. And two out of those three closed and went solar. So great. Great job, you guys. Keep up the good work. Keep looking for other families to talk to. Um, give people that opportunity to save money every month. And, and yeah, you'll create those win-wins. 
So before we go, we've got one more minute. Anybody else, this is your last opportunity. Give us a good share, give us a win. New ambassadors, new sellers, anyone going once? Twice? Oh, I hear nothing, come on. Okay, I'll share. <laughs> All right, Crystal. Crystal for the win. Let's go. Hi, guys. Good morning. Um, first off, I love this. I love this training. I love you guys. I just, I think it's amazing. Um, I'm fairly new to solo, like you guys already know. And sorry about my voice. Oh, no. This, but I know we have to live out of our comfort zone and just trust God. We just step out and trust God the rest so today i'm going to reach out to um five people that are, are really close that i know that are real estate um offices they're pretty big but i know one people one person from each one so i just i'm just gonna call them just gonna call them by faith and see if they're open for us to go and present everybody step out i'm like just step out do something you've been hesitant to do and it, the rest just leave it to god right so that's me thank you guys I love it, Crystal. Thank you for sharing. We had a little bit of technical challenges, but you know what? We heard all of that. And I agree with you 100%. I know everybody else on this call does, right? What's the worst that could happen, right? By approaching them with that opportunity, right? They may say not right now. They're not interested right now. But if you don't present that opportunity, you're never going to get anywhere with it. So awesome. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for talking about it. Really quick. One yes. more. I was going to say also, uh, Crystal, uh, that's an opportunity for you for them for more referrals. So there's always an, a door for, for referrals or anything like that. But just also want to recognize Giselle. I know she jumped on here. We did a great presentation. She was in person and I was on via Zoom. And so we got the customer pre-qualified and he's like, wait, wait, hold on. I still have to think about it. So he's pre-qualified. He's locked into the rate. So remember, rates are changing. So we're going to follow up and I'm pretty sure he's going to move forward with it. So excited. So congratulations, Giselle, for uh, being present and doing a presentation. Awesome. Congrats. Congrats. Thank you, ladies. Thanks, everyone, for sharing. Jessica, you want to get one more? And then Yes, please. Thank we'll you. Save Sorry, the best I'm for last. Like, Let's go. <laughs> I'm doing like 10 things this morning. And so I'm, I didn't even know that we had this training until it popped up on, on my phone for power hitters. I was like, holy moly, I need to get on this. But I just want to shout out today is my first install and I'm actually getting ready to leave home and go to her house. Thank you, Cynthia. She is my mentor on this and uh, so excited about that. And then I have another one tomorrow. So it'll be my first two. And so I'm just excited about that. And I, I want to thank whoever just said sometimes you were talking about somebody that was on the platform for a year and didn't quite do much. I feel like I've almost been there, probably not that long, but even this morning I was praying. I'm like, Lord, this, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Cause it's taking so long. It's hard. People are difficult and you do many quotes or proposals and not everybody, you know, buys from you. They go with someone else. So thank you for whoever said that. Cause that was encouraging to, for me to hear that. So anyway, yes, thank you. And thank you, Cynthia for, uh, She's a fantastic mentor. So awesome. Thank you, Jessica. And I think she's the one that we can attribute that quote to, right, Cynthia? Just keep going. Yep. yep. <laughs> keep going. It's it's not learned overnight. We're not all naturals at this. It took me a long time to figure it out. So sometimes it <laughs> takes us a long time. No one wakes up being good at solar. So just remember that. <laughs> okay. Amen. Thank you. thank you guys. Needed to hear that. <laughs> Awesome. 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 Well, thank you everybody for sharing. Greatly appreciate it. We are now going to jump right in to the wonderful Miss Chris and the training that she has for us. Um, so today she's training us on uh, Solar Basics Power 101. You guys, please tune in because it's good stuff, good stuff. Um, but a little bit about Chrysalyn. Uh, we call her Chris, her friends and family, um, but her name is Chrysalyn Yim. Uh, she is a California mentor in the platform. She speaks two languages languages english and tagalog i think i speak english too i'm working working on it all right um so she says she handles uh mainly california she is virtual and in person um and she lives in the los angeles area okay um but she's also a life coach and mentor i mean what better 
teacher, trainer, educator to have than someone that's a life coach and a mentor. Um, she's, has, she's got over 10 years of sales experience, 15 years of customer service experience, and she's a real estate solar partner and trainer. Just, just win, 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 all combination of those skills together. Guys, she's been in the solar industry for about five years, two years with power. Like I said, she is a tier three mentor. She's got roofing certification, finance certification. She's educated. Guys, I don't think I need to say any more. I am here to present to you Miss Chris Lingham and her power one-on-one -on -one training for today. So Chris, the floor is yours. Wow. Thank you so much, Marissa. It's, um, first of all, I'm going to just give honor where honor is due. Um, Marissa, Cynthia, Isela, you don't even understand how much I look up to you guys. Um, so it's such an honor and a privilege for me to run, run alongside and do these trainings with you. So thank you for the opportunity. I'm super excited and I just can't wait to see where God takes this whole training. I know it's about to explode and we're just going to help so many other women and men that maybe are stuck and, you know, challenge in an area where one of us will unlock that. So thank you again for um, allowing me to be a part of this. So let's go ahead and get started, you guys. Um, as Marissa mentioned, um, you know, I've been in the, the industry for five years and I've been with Power for almost two years. However, I didn't really get started with Power until November of last year. I signed up in May and I didn't get started till November. And the reason for that was because I was discouraged. I didn't really know what to do, um, but I did have a great mentor, David Perez, who's not on here, but, um, oh, actually David Perez is here. So thank you, David. He's the one that actually sponsored me into the platform. And I just wanna give him a huge shout out because every time I would feel discouraged, he would reach out and just encourage me and remind me of what my potential is. And so, in return, that's what I'm doing now is encouraging others and helping them reach um, what they can reach the same way David has helped me. So thank you guys so much. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get right into it and share my screen with everybody here. And just let me know that you guys can see my screen. Give me a thumbs up in the chat. Awesome. Thank you so much. So I know that this is super basic. A lot of you may be um, well seasoned and, and very um, experienced in the solar industry, but I just wanted to share something to those who are new to the platform, new to solar, so that you can feel confident about um, working in this platform and really knowing what you're presenting to your clients. So the first thing I want to talk about is how does solar work, right? So um, these are obviously the solar panels that we see on here. Um, the power goes into an inverter, which converts the power from DC to AC power, which is now usable in the home. So DC is a direct current that occurs when the current flows in one constant direction. So that's when it goes from the sun to the solar panels. And then it goes through an inverter, which is the alternating current, an electric current, which periodically reverses direction and changes its magnitude continuously with time and contrast to direct. So basic solar panels are installed on the roof or on ground if they have the space for it. Um, any extra power that is produced by the solar system um, and not used by the home will be sent back to the grid. One thing that you should know is that you'll always be connected to the grid. Just because you go solar does not mean that you're completely off the grid. So if you have your pen and notepad, take notes. I encourage you to because one thing I've learned from my mentors in life is that if we don't take notes, if we don't write it down, we're going to forget it. So if you really want to be successful in what we're doing here, take notes and really apply it to what you're doing in your business. Okay. So next here is, sorry, guys. So. Let's go back, I apologize. So types of inverters. So these are the types of inverters that we offer. So there are two types of inverters, which is a box string inverter, which is a standalone box that is typically installed close to your main service panel and electricity meter. So it's one inverter. However, if you have 20 panels, 
they will be connected to the inverter through four strings. So with a box inverter, it gets a little bit, um, it gets a little bit challenging when a home has a lot of shading. Why? Because if, if there's a shade in a certain area and there's five panels connected to a string, it could affect, um, it could affect the production on that specific area. So make sure that when you're choosing your inverters, uh, always check what your production is, whether you choose a box string inverter or a micro inverter. And now let's go into a micro inverter. So a micro inverter is um, it's individual inverters that's directly um, installed under the panels. So micro inverters produce grid matching AC power directly at the back of each panel. Arrays of panels are connected in parallel to each other and then to the grid. So this has a major advantage that a single failing panel or inverter cannot take the entire string offline. So I like to offer the microinverter to my customers for the, for the simple reason that if one panel goes out, it's easier to identify which one is out. So um, if there's not a lot of shading, um, if, if given the opportunity, whatever is best for the customers, I always like to offer the microinverter, okay? So solar panels, what are solar panels? Solar photovoltaic um, PV panels consist of a number of individual cells connected together to produce electricity of a desired voltage. Photovoltaic panels are inherently DC devices to produce AC. They must be used together with an inverter and most PV cells are made from crystalline silicone. So this is kind of where I want to part. I, I know that when I started solar, I had no idea what a kilowatt hour was or what kilowatt size meant. I had no idea. So I kind of just want to break it down for you folks that are new and, and may not know. So when we speak this language, you understand and that you're able to explain it to your clients when you're meeting with them. So what is a kilowatt hour? It's a measure of how much energy is used. So just like we see on our presentations for the homeowners, it's the total um, amount bill of, divided by the kilowatt hours. So it's measured by the kilowatt hour that the home uses for the month. So that's what a kilowatt hour is. Another thing that I do want to point out is that um, different utility companies' rates are different. Um, in different states, it's also different. So Texas, for example, is not going to be the same rates as it would be here in California. So when we're sharing with our clients that, hey, we could save you 30 to 40 percent on your electricity bill, we have to really be mindful of that and know what we're talking about. So I encourage you to really do your study and research the areas that you're working in, where your clients are at, so you know what the kilowatt rates are, so you're not you're not making broken promises where you're not able to save customers 40, 30%, 50% on their electricity bill, okay? So another thing is what is kilowatt? So it's a system size and power. So just as an example, um, all, we do have panels that have produced 400 watts. So if you have 10 panels, that's gonna be times 400, which gives you a four, kilowatt system. So that's how you determine the size of the system. I hope that's helpful. I know it's super basic again, but it's going to help a lot of you who are just getting started in the solar industry. So let's talk about net metering. This is another area where I didn't really understand. So let's, let's talk about net metering. Extra power that is not used in the home is exported to the utility grid and the utility may pay the customer for the extra power they send to the grid. And this is what's called NEM or net metering. And the value of the power varies by utility. So do your research again to see what that net metering program is offered uh, for your customer. And depending on the utility company, at the end of the year, the credit may be paid out as a check or a credit rolled over to the following year. So I'm gonna keep over communicating, do your research. If you're selling in San Diego, if you're selling in Texas, if you're selling 
in Nevada, make sure that you research the net metering program that is offered there so that when you're presenting to your clients, you know exactly what you're talking about. And this is just a graph showing of how that works. So you're billed for 200 kilowatt instead of 1,000 kilowatt because your solar produced 1,000 kilowatt. So what happens to the extra 800? That becomes a credit. So that credit is what um, will be given to you, whether in a form of a check or rolled over as a credit for the following year. And what happens when there is a power outage or the grid goes down? Like I mentioned earlier, we're not completely off the grid when we go solar. We're still connected with the grid. We're still connected with the utility company in our local areas. So if the grid goes out, if, the, if there is a power outage, your home will go out of power. Unless, again, you have a backup battery. So. Um, Unless you have a backup battery, then your house will be supplied with power. But if not, it will be going off the grid as well. And so let's talk backup batteries. We do offer uh, two batteries, which is Solar Edge and End Phase. So these are the two types of products that we offer. I do encourage you to do uh, more research on the Solar Edge and End Phase when you're offering these batteries and work with. Um, a well-seasoned mentor who knows what they're talking about to ensure that we're offering the best products and pairing for your clients. So that's all about product knowledge. And now I wanna go into the Power Platform. Super basic again, but let's just go with it. And, and just so you understand the platform so you can move and navigate comfortably knowing where everything is at. So let's start with a dashboard. So the dashboard is where you're gonna find your newsletter, notifications on your project. So if there's any tickets that were created by the project manager, you're able to see that here in your notification area. If an install is scheduled, anything that has to do with your projects will be over here in the notification section. There's also power updates, like what we're having now, we're seeing increases on products um, and prices and rates on loans. So things like that, you'll be able to find it in your dashboard. You'll be able to also track your team's activity. You'll see if there's any new contracts, new ambassadors, new sellers that sign up. So the dashboard is really your main hub to see activity. You'll also be able to see the leaderboard where I know Cynthia Alvidrez is always up there, right? Goals for all of us women and men um, to get up there. And David Perez, I think he's number one mentor right now as well. So it's really um, awesome to see that because it encourages us to really um, see that for ourselves. When we see that, we have to look at it as like, wow, I, I want to get there one day. And that helps you uh, be encouraged to uh, set goals and see what you can do to get on the leaderboard. So number six, it does show you the project activity. Lead origin, if there's any leads, um, it'll track how you got it, where it came from, just so you can understand where you're successful in your business and what areas aren't really producing for you. Um, it also shows your earnings, your earning history, and your progress over time. If this is helpful to you guys, can you just give me a thumbs up in the chat? Just wanna make sure we're doing good. And so another great thing that I want to share with everybody is the marketing. Um, this is so important. I know that a lot of us, you know, um, get kind of lost and it's, it's not really shared. So I wanted to share on this, this portion. So in your platform, you're going to go to marketing. And this is where you're going to find the swag store where you'll be able to purchase um, T-shirts, hats, even marketing materials where you'll have your own personalized marketing um, flyers and postcards and business cards. So you'll just go to these areas here and you'll be able to find all of that. So another most important thing that I want to share is that this is where you're going to find your links to share with homeowners, with future sellers and ambassadors. And I kind of just wanna show you guys that so you know 
exactly what I'm talking about for those people who have never gone on this part of the platform. So when you go to marketing, this is just an example. When you click on your home page or view page, this will take me directly to my landing page. So when I want to share this with homeowners, I'll just copy the link and send this over to them. So when you're networking, this is a great way to um, share it as a digital card so that you can lock in a phone number who, of whoever you're meeting, right? So that's a great way to use it. And when you're getting ready to sign somebody up to become a seller or an ambassador, the links are also here. So seller join and ambassador join. So again, this is the marketing tab. And this is where you'll find all of these goods. Next is a power university. This is where you're going to grow. This is where you're going to find um, certifications that you need to complete. So you wanna make sure that you're checking this and, and that you're completing whatever it is that you need to complete. And knowledge base. So knowledge base is where you could find, it's your resource, right? So you could find uh, the coverage map, Power Ambassador Program resources, spec sheets, uh, power care financing, any training that you might need, anything that you might have in question and your mentor may not be available and you can't find it on YouTube, go to your knowledge base. I cannot emphasize this enough. Use the resources that are given to you. Everything is there. You just have to put in a little work and study. So if you want to grow, really get in there, start listening to some content, and, um, and really just uh, sharpen your tools by getting in here. So some pro tips. Support. So whenever you are working on a project, whether you're a seller tier two or a mentee that's new to the platform, um, I encourage you to always go into the chat whenever you close a deal and just confirm that everything was signed, that everything is good to go so that your project could move forward to the next milestone. Um, it's always best to over communicate rather than thinking, oh, I wonder what's happening with my project, right? So if you want to know, then take that step and go into the chat and follow it all the way through. Another tip that I'm going to give you today is the milestone. When you go into the project, you can go into the milestone section and you're going to see project manager notes in this area. So as you can see here, there's notes um, that are, are recorded by the project manager. So just in case maybe your mentor is busy and you're not able to get a hold of them, you could check here just to get the latest updates. Another tip that I wanna give you guys is tickets. Use the tickets. If you have a problem, if you have something that you wanna to communicate to the project manager, anything you wanna to communicate to your mentor, anything, any changes that needs to be made um, that you need guidance on, go ahead and create a ticket and make sure you assign it to the proper person, whether it be the project manager or your mentor. And that way, whoever that message is for will be notified and get that message. And it also helps us keep track of the thread and, and the history of the communication um, rather than, than going back and forth, well, you told me this, but this really helps us keep everyone accountable when it comes to communication um, in each and every project that we have. So just as an example, um, this is a project that I had. Um, and after the site survey, I went ahead and created a ticket to find out if there were any adders called out for the project um, because it's a cash deal. So I wanted to know, hey, uh, was there any sub uh, uh, panel upgrade that needed to be done? Is the roof good enough? So when I request that, they'll be able to tell me and I'll be able to determine if there's going to be additional costs for the project. Maybe a little too detailed, but 
Again, tickets is where you're gonna um, be able to communicate with the project manager and your mentor. So if you're new to the platform, I encourage you not to wait for this portion, but to apply for your HIS license as soon as possible. If you plan to sell on your own, apply. It takes a few months. So even if you're on your third deal and, and you pass your certification, you still need this license in order for you to sell on your own. So if you want this link, I could send it to you or you could screenshot it, but go ahead and post your email address on the chat and I'll personally send this to you via email and I'll send you step-by-step -step on what you need to do as well to help you get that started. So another tip is that um, use the resources that you're given. It's free, guys. I mean, we have all these amazing mentors. We have all these um, group chats that we can go on. So make sure that you um, use it. Marissa Fletcher, this is her YouTube channel here. And this is where all of our trainings are being posted. It's recorded and posted here on this channel. And also another great resource is Jonathan Bernasso. His YouTube page really helped me a lot when I started. I would just go on there if I didn't know what I was talking about and kind of just research the videos that were related to the topics that I needed to learn about. So Marissa Fletcher and Jonathan Bernasso's pages are great. Power PVC YouTube videos are also here. And another great tool is the uh, calendar. So Power Calendar is where you're gonna see all of the events if there's any special trainings. So make sure you have that bookmarked on your website and just use it and take a look at it weekly um, just so you, you're sure that you don't miss anything. If you have questions and maybe your mentors or colleagues are not available, go to the Power Pioneers page or Telegram and just use the chat uh, to ask those questions. And we have a lot of helpful team members that are willing to help you. So that's really all I have for today, you guys. Thank you so much. I know it was quick and brief, but one thing that I wanted to close out with is um, this scripture. It's something that I live off of and, and I really truly believe, believe in because a goal without a plan is just a wish. So it says in Habakkuk 2.2, 2, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tablets that he may run that read it. So what does that mean? If you have goals and dreams, write it down, keep it in front of you, because that's what's going to fuel the fire for you to get there. That's what's going to fuel the fire for you to just um, continue, you know, seeking wisdom from other mentors and, and seeing where you can go and how you can get to that destination. So again, you guys, thank you so much for having me here today. I have my contact information right here, my phone number and my email. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I am a California mentor, but it's not limited. I've done deals in Texas and Vegas, so I'm happy to help if you guys have questions. So other than that, I think that's all I have. And I'm going to turn it right back over to Marissa. Woohoo! Hand clap for you, Miss Chris. That was an amazing training. Very much needed. Thank you so much. Man, that was an amazing training. I couldn't, uh, man, nothing else to say, nothing else to say. This will be recorded. It will be on the YouTube channels, you guys. We will send it out across the channel so that you can always refer back to it and review everything that she showed you guys. She gave you a lot of great, great tips in there, pro tips, how to follow up on your files, how to create the tickets. I mean, just really good stuff. Thank you so much, Chris. Um, so now we always want to wrap up just like Chris talked about. We want you guys to mark your calendars. There's some tools and resources that are out there for you guys and they're free. They're available. It's how we all learned. Um, it's how you're going to learn. It's how you're going to become more confident in your industry. So on the 3rd, October 3rd, which is Monday night, yeah, I have the right day, which is Monday night, we do our power hour, 5 p.m. Pacific time powerhour.com every Monday night. So you've got people that are interested in the platform, want to know more, want to know more about the company. I highly suggest you plug in and get them plugged into this power hour on a Monday night. 
Um, this Wednesday, October 5th, we will not have our wonderful session this week because we are going to give way and make room for our CEO update. So once a month, guys, in case you didn't know, every single month we have a CEO update from Mr. Jonathan Budd himself. It's from nine to one. And this week's going to be a pretty, uh, next week, I'm sorry, is going to be a pretty hot topic. The rates are increasing. There are some changes that are coming to our industry that we want to be aware of. They're going to have all three of the main lenders, well, three of our main lenders on the platform talking to us directly. So you definitely want to plug into that. Um, they're also going to announce the contest winners for the big summer contest that we just had. They're going to, they've tallied the final numbers and they're going to talk about that. So please tune in that Wednesday. Wednesday. We will be back the following Wednesday. You'll get me and I will be giving us a great training the following Wednesday. I'm actually going to be going over our lenders. So I'm going to be going over the main lender programs that we have and how I use them and why I use them when I'm designing proposals. You know, what are the FICO requirements? What do they look at? What do they require after you sign with them? So that's going to be the training after the masterclass in two weeks, but please join us for that masterclass. Also, every Thursday at 12 p.m. and 5 p.m., we have Power On with Corporate. I think the one last week, Irene was on another mission. She was on another call last week, but she is back. So at 12 p.m. and 5 p.m., we have our Power On. Please join that. On Tuesday in October, we have in-phase training. So just like Chris talked about, you know, we've got, um, we've got two types of inverters. We've got a couple of types of panels that we're using and that we're offering. Um, the way we know what to offer is by getting trained and educated on each of those products and knowing the specifics on them. So in-phase on Tuesday at 11 a.m., they've got a training going on on October 11th. And then we go right back around that next week on October 12th we have the Breakthrough Mastermind, Breakthrough Mastermind, and then we're up right after it. So please mark your calendars. I've got all kinds of stuff marked on my calendar. It pops up on my phone to remind me. Again, the monthly CEO update, it's huge, you guys. Every month, you want to tune into that update from 9 to 1 with Jonathan Budd. It's kind of a lender rally, Sunlight, Good Leap, Mosaic. They're going to talk about their product. They're going to talk about the changes. They're going to talk about the rates. So jump on that so you can be educated. And then we like to wrap up with a quote. This quote came from the wonderful Miss Chris and write the vision, make it plain, just like she talked about, write down your goals. That comes from the Bible, right? Um, um, basic instructions for, for basic living, <laughs> right? So everybody, that's gonna wrap up our training portion and our training section for this week. I wanna thank everybody for jumping on, for jumping on early so that we can get this training to you. It will be recorded on the YouTube channel. I am going to stop the recording and we're going to stay open for a little while longer till the top of the hour and answer any questions that any of you have for a mentor. So this is ask a mentor section. So thank you for taking the time to watch the Women of Power training series. I hope that you got some great value out of that video and there's much, much more where that came from. Listen, if you'd like to join Power or find out more about this awesome and amazing platform, please feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is in the description. I look forward to connecting with you real soon. Have a great day.